Hey everyone! This week, Astronomer's DevRel team is covering the features we are most excited about in the new Airflow 3.0 release. Today, we're covering remote execution. As we described in the previous video, Airflow 3 has had significant architectural changes that mean task execution is now decoupled from Airflow system components. This means that you can now run tasks remotely on almost any machine. Remote execution is a feature we recommend in situations where you are running tasks that need to access sensitive data which can't leave a secured environment, like is often the case in healthcare companies or financial institutions, or where your tasks need specialized compute, like a GPU or TPU, to train a machine learning model. Depending on how you run Airflow, you have several options to implement remote execution. If you are an OSS Airflow user, you can use the Edge Executor from the Edge Free Provider Package to run tasks on Edge workers. See the Edge Free Provider documentation linked in the description for more information. Astro customers can use remote execution agents that contain a remote DAG processor, worker, and triggerer component running in the customer-controlled remote network. By default, the only information that is sent back to the API server running in the orchestration plane running on Astro is information necessary for scheduling, such as task statuses. Customer data, secrets, and DAG code stays in the customer-controlled network. To learn more about using remote execution with Astro, see the astronomer documentation linked in the description.